What's up? It's Charm Time, and welcome back to another episode of the Charm Time Restaurant Review. All right, so I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret, all right? My stomach the last few weeks has been off. And I mean big off. I'm not sure if it's the food, the restaurants that I've been eating at, or what. I've been non-stop sh for two weeks now. I'm talking two, three times a day. And I'm here to tell y'all, your boy is drained. So I got to switch it up a bit. So I'm in Durham, North Carolina today, and I just wanted to find a restaurant that serves plant-based food. Like a hundred percent plant-based but not just any plant-based restaurant i wanted to find a restaurant that had a pretty good reputation because i tried a few in the past and it ain't been too good not only did i find a hundred percent plant-based restaurant they also have a five-star review on yelp <laughs> that's pretty damn good so today's takeout review comes from yep pure soul in durham north carolina all right so first we want to try these soul rolls right here so the soul rolls right here so want you guys to see how they look up close now these soul rolls right here was 6.99 and they include barbecue greens and mac and cheese i don't even know what to say about it i'm gonna just try it i think this is barbecue right here yes yeah, barbecue mm. it's okay Oh, I'm sorry, man. That aftertaste is bust. All right, so the rolls now, I could taste more of the barbecue than anything. It was definitely crunchy. Surprisingly, it wasn't greasy either. Like, how many times have you guys been into an egg roll and grease just start trickling down your chin, huh? I do want to say, despite it being crunchy, it does look like it's a little overcooked. And I would love to taste the other ingredients inside this egg roll. Now, I'm not sure if there wasn't enough greens or enough mac in here, but I can only taste the barbecue. I mean, I will say, I man, I would definitely try this again. I think you should try this out too if you come here. So the soul rolls, I'm going to go ahead and give them an egg. So next on the menu, we're going to be trying these. So bowl. This is a soul bowl, ladies and gentlemen. And a nerd to add my favorite on here. This good old cornbread. This particular dish costs $9.99. And it had black IP, red peppers, greens, rice, of course, avocado, cornbread. Oh, yellow rice. This looks like carrots. That's exactly what I need to get my stomach back on track. Mmm. Yeah, this is good. Now let me try this good old cornbread. Mmm. It's so soft. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This right here, this is really good. So when you try this out, if you guys ever come here and watch this video, your taste buds is gonna have a complete July 4th, New Year's, Christmas, Thanksgiving celebration all in your mouth. I mean, your taste buds ain't gonna know what to do. They're gonna be like, oh my God. There's nothing that I dislike about this plate. I love the black eyed peas. I love the greens. I love the carrots. I love the peppers. And the spices they use on this thing, man. Inside of this dish, it's magnificent. To some, it may be a little spicy when you initially bite into it because of the peppers. But man, this right here is on point. And the cornbread is nice and soft. And the rice is nice and moist. It's a great flavor. Consistent texture. Wasn't overcooked. I mean, this whole bowl right here, this whole platter right here, definitely pretty good so the soul bowl man i gotta give this a 10. next one on the list we have the soul mac i don't even know what to say about this y'all see that right there looks like real cheese to me a little nervous about trying this but um let's just get to it okay all right it's kind of hard to judge right here, man, because on one hand, it does taste like cheese. On the other hand, it doesn't. It doesn't have that strong, cheesy aftertaste than regular cheese, but it does have the look of regular cheese. It doesn't smell as strong as regular mac and cheese, but when it comes to being moist, it's definitely moist like regular mac and cheese. Y'all hear that? That's how moist it is right there. I don't know, this is different. But I will say, if I had a choice of eating this or regular mac and cheese, I would definitely eat this. I'm not really a big cheese fan, as you guys already know. But this right here doesn't really taste like cheese, but it kind of gives me, I don't know, man, it gives me a feeling that I'm eating cheese when I'm really not. <laughs> but that's actually what it is. You really are eating cheese. I don't know, man. I'm still trying to figure it out. But uh, just know that I would definitely eat this over regular mac and cheese any day. Well, that being said, I'm gonna get this a eight. Last but not least, we have the chicken sandwiches. That's one chicken sandwich right there. So yeah, so I wasn't gonna get this. But when I asked Miss Hannah at the front what's the most popular item, she did say the chicken sandwich. So I said, you know what? Sign me up. Let's try chicken sandwich. Oh, this is good. So let me show this right here. The bun on this thing right here is toasted to perfection. So shout out to whoever toasted these buns, man. We did a damn good job. The chicken on the other hand is definitely different. So I've had mock chicken salad before. This right here tastes like a fried version of the mock chicken salad, which it probably is, I don't know. But when it comes to flavor and the crunchiness, 
It's definitely on point. So it's not as moist as regular chicken that's counting on the dry side. It does taste like chicken, man. I'm gonna give it to you. But you can kind of tell from the aftertaste that it's not chicken. So I do wish that the sandwich had more. I wish it was a bigger piece of chicken. I feel like on that particular sandwich, the bun kind of outweighs. Well, see, this is different right here. See that right there? That's how that first sandwich should have been. Also, not to mention with this particular chicken sandwich, it is just a little bit soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this chicken sandwich a eight. All right, so let's get into the experience. First things first, when I walked up, walked inside, I looked to my right, and there goes a hand sanitizer station. See, once I seen a hand sanitizer station right there, I already knew everything else was gonna be gravy. Looked around and this place was very unique. They had the cast iron pans on the wall. They had plants everywhere. There was a digital menu. It was very clean in here. If you leave reviews, you can actually win a side. The desserts were just nice and stacked up on top of the machine. Then I walked outside and the outside area looks pretty nice as well. You got the painting on the wall. You have the tent that's covering you from the sun. Then you walk to the right, right before you walk back in the seating area right there for you to come and just sit out and chill. So I I mean, you know, I kind of like this place, man. Also, not to mention, they got a 98.5 sanitation score. I mean, what more can you ask for? So my two favorite things that I love when I came here was for one, Hannah was awesome. So Hannah Banana for Phantom Milana, I appreciate you. Two, for first time customers, you get a free drink on the house. And three, if you download the app, you get $5 off your first order. I mean, that's just, I mean. <laughs> What more can you ask for? So when I say when it comes to customer service and drawing back customers, first time customers, you guys do a great job of that because I'm definitely coming back. So there are two things I don't like about this restaurant. So when I was in the inside, look up at the vents. The vents are in very bad shape. I mean, it's dust all up in there. So you guys get a chance, you definitely gotta clean that off. Walk outside and I look up, it looks like the ceiling is kinda coming down. I'm not sure if they're up there doing maintenance or what, but it'd be great if you guys could fix that. But as for everything else, everything else was a-okay. To anyone that's watching this video, whether it be in Greensboro, Durham, Raleigh, Charlotte, wherever you're watching this video, if you want 100% plant-based food, and if you love plant-based food, if you wanna try something different, Pure Soul is the place to be. With the wide variety of items on the menu, I'm sure you'll be amazed, man. Restaurant owners all around the world, we're currently coming from a pandemic. If you would like for me to come and do a review at your restaurant, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. Again, to all my fans, I thank y'all so much. Love y'all. Stay blessed. Peace.